What's up YouTube? This is Matt, the Backlash Fisherman. This will be my second video and hopefully I'll be able to come out here and catch a few fish today. Um, I've had some good luck at this pond recently so hopefully we'll have some today. Alright, hope you enjoy and have a wonderful day. Alright, I'll be using my Shimano SLXDC, my custom made rod, and uh, um, KVD Red Eye Shad, I think it's a sexy shad color. Let's see what we can do today. Oh, first cast right in a bush. Seriously? Dang it. I guess I won't be using this sword today. Because it's not coming off of that bush. <coughs> oh, it came off. And from one bush right to the other. But, uh, let's see where it's at in this bush. <laughs> I got it back. That is a slight miracle right off the bat. Went from the bush on the other side all the way across the pond into the bush on this side. That's just crazy. And that cast was into the wind. So. Hey, I hit water. Uh, backlash. It ran just slightly. I don't know if that's really considered a backlash, but it's enough I needed to pull it up for a real end. I think I got a fish on, maybe. Look, grass. <coughs> this bait sunk right down in the grass. Oh, fish right there. He hit it right there on the top and I missed him because of all the grass. Dang it. Uh, I don't know if y'all got that or not on camera. That was a decent fish too. There's so much grass on this lure I couldn't get him. Well, let's know there's fish here. Let's see if we bite it without grass on it. Yep, he come right up here on the bank and got it. Right at my feet. Heck yeah. That's a nice bass for out here. This year. Did I leave my pliers in the car? I believe I did. Or in the truck, should I say? Not only that, I left my scale in the truck too. That's a good looking fish right there. Definitely spawned out. Let's get him back. And there he goes. Thank you for playing, sir. Alright. One on the camera I'm using today, guys, is a little 
short section camera I got off of wish.com um, I was able to purchase a fish I was able to purchase a um, Hero 4 GoPro today hopefully it will be in early next week so that should help improve my videos a little bit oh dinker ain't even fighting compared to the other one I really should have gone back to the truck and got my um, needle nose pliers. But that hook came right out. Whoa. Nice little fish there. Actually, a little bit chubby. It's good to see. They're starting to fatten up a little bit post fall. Back in he goes. That was number two. And this pond is surrounded by them. <coughs> oh, that's a heck of a hit. But he's still a little dink. He hit a lot harder than what he looks in size. He absolutely pumped it for him. no bigger than he is. He hit that like a five pounder. Alright, come on. He's been caught before. He's got, he already had a tear in his mouth. A little fish, nice little, probably one pounder. Maybe three quarter to one pound. That's number three. <coughs> it's actually dug as a burrow pit to create the bypass that is behind me. Or the overpass right up here. So all the dirt that was in this pond is now under the roadway behind me. I had grass on there, he came up, knocked the grass off, and then ate the bait. Oh my god. That was awesome. And he choked that crack bait. Might have to walk back to my truck for this one. I did not expect one to eat it that good. That's a nice fish too. Might throw him on the scale when I get down there. <coughs> that bait is gone. That's the second that second one that's hit it while I had grass on it, pop water. I know there's a couple of storms rolling in this weekend from down south, so it must be turning these fish on today. I knew I should have bought them pliers in my pocket. I don't know why I left them. Advice if you're going to use a crankbait, always have your pliers with you when you have treble hooks. I stuck one of these treble hooks through my finger last week. Or if it falls, it doesn't hurt anybody. Alright, we got zeros. One pound, seven, and one eighth ounce. Not a bad fish. Oh, he's bleeding a little bit. Let me get him on in. And back he went. And he took off right back where he came from. He'll be back down.
If I had gotten that one on shore, I probably would have quit with five fish. Alright, Chuck, lay off your jack brake. There's one right there. Little bitty dink. Squeak, squeak, McGee there. <laughs> Almost had a hook in my hand. I see about three or four more about the same size as him. Come here, little buddy. <laughs> if I was going for a smallest fish contest, that would probably win. That's number five. I hate to end on a dink like that. Let's see if we can get another number six. This has something over 10 inches on the bank. <coughs> to end with. Fish. That's a better one. Stay down, baby. Don't jump. You can see that one fighting the whole way in just about. That's a better fish. That's number six. Only I could get my pliers right back in my fishing rod trying to get them out of my pocket. Alright. Another decent looking fish. Let's get him back. There he goes. Back to the depths where I caught him. Thank you for watching this episode of the Backlash Fisherman. May you have tight lines and God bless you with big catches. Um, I will be trying to upload once every week. Definitely hit like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can see when I upload. Thank you for everything you've done for the channel so far. It really grew with my first video and I hope it continues to grow. Well, take care.